Hello, 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 everyone. NecroVMX here, and welcome back with more Ys Memories of Salsetta. Made some progress last time. Oh! Loading a safe! <laughs> okay. Because last time I was like, let me make this area safe before I save it, and apparently loading the save respawns all the enemies. Just like going through a memory. I don't mind being poisoned right now. Um. Okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna continue to the uh, west here. Alright, that hasn't respawned though. Durin, what are you, like, invisible or something? That was weird. It's like, Durin's like, you shall not see me. There we go. No, wrong button. Got the bitch, all right. All right, there is a treasure chest there, but it's underwater, so we'll just have to go around that. Ooh. There we go. Dang. Okay, so we can go off to the left here. Or we can check out down here. Let's check out down here first. Since it is a dead end. Alright. Is that all there is here? Oh, there's an ore deposit of some sort. Okay, so we're gonna continue over to the west then. Let me just look at the map real quick here. Uh, we're okay, we're at 24.9%. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, the Godona Crater. I think we're getting near to the point where we're gonna get another party member pretty soon. Get out of here, you bother me. Nah, block the shit out of that. Alright, uh, yeah, clearly we want to go up that way, but first we'll go the other way. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a new party member fairly soon. So that leaves out of here, but I just want to fill out this area. I don't want to leave. Not that way, anyway. Yo! So this is a dead end, but there is an ore deposit. Yeah, so now we're we're gonna go north. Get out of here, you bother me. Got that guy? Alright. Yeah, I seem to remember there being a town, like a like a little village somewhere around here. There is a um, treasure chest not too far from here. Let me take care of these guys, though. Gotcha, bitch. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, just a rota droplet. All right, it's, it's worthy of getting. All right. Hold on, let me look at the... Yeah, okay, just making sure I didn't miss anything. I'm gonna go here, okay.
There we go. Alright, I can definitely need some health here. But... Well, it's not a safe area right now. All right, let's uh, stop and heal just a bit because uh, we're running a little ragged. I don't need to heal all the way. I just want to get him out of the uh, like orange status. Music here is pretty great, as as in the rest of the game. Yeah, Durin's like fully healed. All right, let's go. Durin's fully healed. You know, give a fuck. He's going. Okay, so it looks like... Wait, hold on. There's a camp thing over there? For Oh, that's the Forest of Dawn camp, but... Well, it's disconnected from here. <laughs> Biatch. Alright, nothing here. Come on, Adel. Oh my god, Adel. What the fuck? Alright, I do see a treasure chest up there, so let's go get that. <laughs> of course. Beast Fang. Uh, I think that's an equipable, no? Or not. Let me see what that is. What, is, what the hell is a Beast Fang? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a beast material. Okay, the Fang of Versus Beast. Alright. That's all it is. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's like some kind of village around here, and that's where we'll meet uh, the next party member. There's a healing thing over there, but let's make sure we fill everything out. I always go back to it if I need to. Alright, let's take this lower path first. Every time I boot up the game, I gotta remember to, at some point, back up the camera a bit. Alright, we do got a regular wooden chest here. And there's an emerald in there. Those are useful. For powering up weapons and shit. Alright. I guess I just wanted to fill out the whole area. There we are, it's a green one. Yeah, you could see this is civilization because there's something there. Oh, okay, how are we doing on mapping? 27.8%. Not quite enough for another uh, trip back to Criselda, but here we are. Well, we're here. This is the point that's marked on the map. Man, what an amazing place. Komodo Village. Yep, this is what I remember. There are houses up there in the trees. I think people actually live here. Really makes you appreciate how adaptable mankind can be. You remember coming here before? Feels vaguely familiar. Really? Sure it'd make things easier if you knew someone we could talk to here, but I guess that is asking a little much. Either way, we'll never know what we're in for if we keep standing out here. Gonna have to go in and hope for the best. Hey, what's up? How's it going? What? You're, you're that red-haired outsider who came here before. Looks like they remember you, at least. That sure makes things easier. You think you guys could show us in? 
show you in. If that's a joke, I'm not laughing. I don't know if you're brave or just foolish, but either way, you have some nerve showing your face here again. You have angered the god of the forest. I told everyone letting him into the village was a bad idea. Hold on. What? They don't seem too happy with you. What the hell did you do? I have no idea. Somehow I doubt these guys are too likely to accept that the amnesia excuse. That isn't even worth wasting the chief's time. This isn't even... Uh, this isn't worth wasting... Yeah, let's try that a third time here. This isn't even worth wasting the chief's time. We can handle this ourselves. On my honor as a warrior of the forest, I will make you pay. Wait a minute, at least hear us out. He doesn't remember coming here. He doesn't even remember anything about himself. We came here to help him try to get his memories back. You honestly think we're going to believe that? What sort of fools do you take us for? Damn. I think that just made things worse. At all, I think we're going to have to... Hold it. Hold it. That's what you'll have to do. There she is. Ah. Karna? When did you get here? She's the next party member. She just came right up to... Right up to me, just like, damn, just gawking at Ada. Well, most girls do, but seriously, damn, back up a little lady. You've lost your memories? Oh, okay. She's saying it. Apparently. It's not an excuse, it's the truth. Nah, we'll say sorry. Doesn't matter which one you say. Hmm. You don't remember when we first met then, either? I was out hunting and attacked you, thinking you were a wild beast, but instead of getting angry, you apologized. It was my fault, but you said you were getting in the way. You were sorry for getting in the way. Karna, are you actually thinking of trusting him? I don't know yet. But either way, we should hear these two out. We owe them that. We, we owe them that. At but uh, bro, I can't talk today. Uh, 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 we owe them that. We owe them at least that much. I keep putting the word that where it doesn't belong. You're going to let them into the village at a time like this? I know you're all on edge right now, and I completely understand. My family's been hit too, after all. Oh. That's right. I'm sorry. Hey. It's a difficult time for everyone here, but that's all the more reason we need to stay calm and rational. Just like this great tree that watches over everyone in Komodo. Otherwise, we'd end up making decisions we regret later. Sorry, you're right. It's just as you say, Karna. It's an awfully long walk. Look over there, Rattle. You can see the whole forest from here. Every little thing we explored is in that sea of trees. Yes, yes, it's a lovely view, but keep walking. Your presence here is making the villagers very nervous, you know. Sorry for the sake of everyone else in the village. I'm going to have to make sure you stay for here for a while. You feel like telling us what's going on? Because I have no idea what I just wandered into. I'll tell you everything later. For now, just try to work it out for yourselves as best you can, okay? How would we do that, exactly? Might want to tone down the snarky attitude, man. I don't feel like it. I'll be back later. Sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to stay put for a while. That's a really bad job of tying them up. There she goes. She seems like a pretty level-headed girl, at least. I suppose you have to be to survive in a place like this. Still, looks like we've wandered into something real bad this time. You sure didn't do it? You sure you didn't do anything horrible to these people? How can I be sure? Ah, oh, come on, have some confidence in yourself. I don't want to start suspecting you either. But this seems like just the sort of place you'd stick your nose into, if nothing else. Oh well, at least we're safe from the beasts and monsters here. Suppose this is as good a chance to get some as any to get some rest. The next day. Yeah. Oh. We slept standing up. Oh. Starting to get pretty bored. How long are they going to keep wait keep us waiting? Oh, looks like someone's here. Excuse me. Allow me to introduce you. This is my father. I am Assad, the village chief. I have met you once before, Adol. Though as Karnas told me, you've lost your memories. I suppose you don't remember me? I'm afraid. When did I come here last? We'll go with that one. You came here about two weeks ago. 
There was quite an uproar when you arrived, considering you were the first to come here from outside the forest. But the uproar now is much greater and with a far less pleasant cause. So what is going on here? Nobody seems to want to tell us. Recently, several of the villagers have been spirited away. Spirited away? What do you mean by that? One day, one of our own simply disappeared without a trace. Then another, and another, and none of them have come back since. Could you know where they've gone? We searched the surrounding area thoroughly, but have found no sign of them. And the first villager that disappeared did so immediately after you left. Whoa, now there's some bad timing. Suppose that explains why everyone's holding him responsible, though. To my knowledge, you truly are the first person to come from outside the forest. How could I not think you the culprit when something so out of the ordinary happened the moment you left? A number of villagers are convinced that you angered the god of the forest. Well, when you put it like that, I guess I can kind of see where you're coming from. The people are taking turns patrolling our village now, day in and day out. Unsurprisingly, many of them are getting rather irritable. I'll find the real culprit myself. I thought you might say that. But as the village chief, I would prefer to keep you here for a while longer. How much longer are we talking? The search of the forest can be completed. will be completed by dawn. And if you don't find anything, what happens then? That I don't know. I will decide when the time comes. I will return tomorrow. Karna, we're leaving. Oh, okay. Adol, I don't suppose you... I don't suppose you remember Renmos. Do you? Renmos? I expected as much. So if they don't find anything, it looks like everyone's just going to assume it was you after all. Only way for the village to move past this is to make someone take the fall for it, which is ridiculous. Level with me here. You have any idea who that Renmos guy he mentioned might be? Oh, a memory happens. That's not Renmos, though. I don't know. It's not him. Oh, come on. You totally remembered something there. It was written all over your face. Don't tease me now. Maybe you could paint a clearer picture if we could just find something else to trigger your memory. Let's gather information. Yeah, sitting around here isn't going to get us... Get, uh, 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 sitting around here isn't getting us anywhere. One sec. There we go. Got out of that pretty easily. That should do it. I hate taking big risks, but an information dealer like me tends to pick up a few tricks every now and then for times like this. Okay. So I got an achievement unlocked. Proof of life. Looks like the villagers are patrolling outside. Can't really go around asking people for, people for information, considering the situation. But let's see if we can find anything that might help you get some of your memories back. So we gotta basically explore around. I don't know if I don't know if compl um, anything in here counts towards completion or not. What are you doing here? Oh, you saw me. Uh oh, we've been spotted. How many times do I have to tell you to stay put before you listen? How'd you get out anyway? How did you manage to untie yourselves? No wild beasts ever managed to break out of that. I'm proud of my skills too. You'll have to show me how you did it sometime. <laughs> Just stay put here for now. Got it? Good. Oh, I, I just remembered. It wasn't that he saw me. It was that I made a noise. There's certain places where you step on things and they make noises. So what are we going to do? I'll well, be more careful this time. Heh, good old Adol. I figured you'd say something like that. Sure as heck, no point in staying here any longer, right? Just don't make the same mistake as last time. Yeah, I don't think you can go in the buildings. I think it... it like, like, you don't want to step on things like that, from what I remember. Uh, okay. Hold on, we need to gather a little more information before we think about escaping. We should head back to the village and try to find something that will trigger your memory. Okay, I was just trying to... Yeah, I don't know if um, filling out the map here counts towards completion or not. I don't think it does, though. I think you'd have to just get to a memory. Which I believe is at the top. Yeah. Well, it yeah, it's somewhere around here because it's there. It is. We got it. Okay. Oh, oh, that was Renmos. It just in black and white. It looked like a different character. I see. Still, I'm amazed that you came here from outside the forest. 
couldn't believe my ears when I heard that you repelled one of Sis's <laughs> knives with just your sword. She never misses. That's what, that's what you said. Hey, I'm Remnos. Yeah. It's nice he looked like a different character in Monochrome. I'm sorry about the rude greeting you got from my sister earlier. Attacking anything that moves is what beasts do, not people. Oh shit, shots fired. I I'm sorry, okay? I shouldn't have attacked without checking like that. The forest is the beast territory, where only the strongest can survive. You were unlikely to last there for long without honing your senses, as Karna has. I suppose there is little reason for concern, seeing as how you traversed it with only that blade for defense. Yeah, he might not look like much, but his skill with the Suddenly you're talking, Karna. You'll have to fight me one-on-one -on -one sometime. Just get a little one-on-one -on -one action with him. Karna, you're going to scare him off. What? Why? I bet he'd love to spar with me. Adol, was it? These are my twins. Karna is one of the strongest hunters here, surpassing many of the my men in ability. But then, you discover that firsthand. Renmos, on the other hand, excels more in the arts. His strength lies in handicrafts and music. I don't think you'll find two better guides to show you around the village. Oh, thank you for your kindness. It's nothing, I assure you. Please relax, this is our home, and we pride ourselves on our hospitality. I leave him in your care, my children. As you wish, Father. Let's get started, then, shall we? Yes, you actually get to walk around the village in the past. Just because you have the chief's permission to enter the village doesn't mean you can do whatever you like around here. Don't go getting carried away now. So, it's Pickards. Whee! Whee! <laughs> it's really strange having a visitor here. How about trying one of the finest fruits the forest has to offer? Yay, I'd love one. Put that hand down. No one said you could have one. Eh, it's okay. I don't mind if Ranmos has one, too. He's much cuter than the other men around here, after all. See, it's fine. Ugh, why are all the girls around here so into him? But still, I'm your older sister, so if I say you can't have one, you can't have one. We're going now, Renmos. How much older are you, like five minutes? What? But Adel hasn't even had his yet. Okay. Hi, Solio. Hey there, you two. Showing the visitor around town? Something like that, yes. This is the town's only shop. You can buy almost anything you'd want here, from hunting gear to daily necessities. <laughs> Although I'm afraid I don't stock musical instruments or crafts. Cooking ingredients, weapons, materials, if I've got what you need, I'm happy to sell it to you. Hey, what's up? Oh, it's Karna and Renmos and... Who are you? Hmm, so this is the foreigner. What's a foreigner? Well, it means he came from really far away. His name is Adel. Oh, really? Nice to meet you, Addy. Don't call me Addy. Aw, why not? It's cute. Come on, Adel. Let's let her call you Addy if she wants to. Yeah, don't be a, such a stick in the mud. Sounds like you had quite a difficult morning, Karna. I just don't see why you should have to go out hunting. You're a young lady. <laughs> well, I do it because I enjoy it, so why not? And I am the village chief's daughter, after all. I have to take after him somehow, you know. But I've still got quite a lot to learn before I'll ever be as good a hunter as he is. <laughs> Karen is going to be the chief someday. Heh, <laughs> only if everyone in the village is okay with that, of course. I can't imagine a single person would object. It's so wonderful to have an older sister like you, my dear Karna. <sighs> Meanwhile, the village chief's son has no pride as a warrior at all. Eh, <laughs> well, Renmos is an artist. That's right. See, she gets it. Uh, Karna and Renmos really aren't much alike, are they? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, though I suppose there's no reason it would be a bad thing now, is there? Uh, let's go in here. Ah, uh, so this is the visitor everyone is talking about, huh? Yes, his name's Adel. Isn't his red hair amazing? It's wonderful. Like coxcomb. Uh... I don't believe that's a very complimentary simile. <laughs> this is Pippi, the village shaman. She handles all the ceremonial duties, duties in Komodo. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I'm sure all my little children would appreciate it if you said hello to them, too. You mean the cox? Well, cock a fucking doodle do, cluck cluck. <laughs> How about they all have names? No, 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 not you, Tsukuni, this one. Tiva, chirp chirp. Chirp, chirp, burp, burp. Hey, what's up? Greetings, Karna, Renmos, and... Wow, it's like his head is on fire. 
Boss! Don't be so rude. <laughs> so you're the outsider everyone's talking about, are you? Welcome to our home. Huh. Who says anything about welcoming him? What? I had no idea how you managed to win over Assad, but I for one have no intention of welcoming an outsider into my home. Please leave immediately. But dear... Huh? What's wrong? Uh, well... This is Sadok's home. Let's do as he says. Yeah, I guess it's not best to tempt fate too much. Sorry for bothering you, Sadok. Sadok, you're a dick. Aw, leaving already? But you only just got here. I have no idea how many... Okay, we've heard that already. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, I'm sorry that your husband's such a cockbag. Alright. Up, up, up we go. You're so insensitive. First you buy me earrings, then you buy me more earrings. Do you think I have four ears or something? You, know, you could swap them out. What's wrong with having a spare pair? You can never have too many earrings. Don't be so picky about presents other people have bought for you. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of a dick move there. Hey, Master. Mind if I show Adel around here a bit? I don't mind. I never thought I'd see the day someone would come here from outside the forest. Heh, <laughs> you don't get visitors much more unique than this one. This is my Master, Sison. He's an artisan. He looks a bit rough around the edges, but I assure you, he really does do beautiful work. Renmos, that is no way to talk about your master. Eh, don't worry about it, Karna. I'm used to his sass mouth. Honestly, you spoil him, Sison. But he's right about one thing. You do some beautiful work, Renmos. Renmos, too, even if he can't be respectful to his master. I can never make anything half as nice as what you two can do. Well, everyone has things they're good at and things there aren't. Like me and hunting for the latter. Remember, just because you're not great at something doesn't mean you have to give it up completely. Exactly. Listen to your master, Renmos. You used to come hunt with us, but then one day you just stopped showing up. I'm sure you'd be able to keep up with everyone if you trained. Well, I just don't feel like putting all my effort into something to which I'm unsuited. Moving on. Adol, take a look at this necklace. I'm quite proud of this one. Isn't it beautiful? Well, it's very well made. <laughs> you could say, eh. Isn't it just? I knew you'd appreciate it. We're going to be best friends, I'm sure of it. No, we already are. Ugh, look at him getting carried away. Eh, I'm sure you seem to be having fun. Now that you're uh, know that you're always welcome to come back and look around as much as you'd like. Make yourself at home here. Yeah. Huh? Until you try to come back and then then we're all going to try to murder you and put you in prison and shit. There's a little scene here. Okay. Aren't you the red-haired outsider? Ha, huh, looks like you know your way around a sword if nothing else, but you don't seem particularly tough. Hmm, you sure about that? I wouldn't bet on being able to win a fight against Adel. What? Oh? Hmm, if Karna says so, it's got to be true. Wait a minute. We haven't fought. She's probably just trying to ingratiate herself with the outsider. Now, now, calm down. Calm down? Huh. I'm sure it may be easy sitting around all day, never bothering to hunt. Listen here, Renmos. I've wanted to ask this for a long time, but why don't you ever come out with us? Oh, Damless, hold on. Sorry, Ramon, but I've had enough of beating around the bush. I want an answer. Why don't you ever come out and hunt with us? You're a man of Komodo, and you're supposed to be a warrior. Eh, well, for better or worse, I'm an artist and a historian, not a hunter. I'm going to deny your way... I'm not going to deny you your way of life. I completely respect it, it's just not for me. That's all there is to it, really. Eh, I don't get you at all. Really, how do we go from talking about Adol to talking about me? Yeah, it's like the dump on Renmos day, right? Yeah, I've got plenty I want to say to Renmos on this subject, too. I bet you do. But we can at least not discuss it in front of Adol. You're right, I'm sorry. Hmm, forget it, I'm not interested anymore. Sorry I had to see that, Adel. Anyway, let's go talk to someone else, shall we? Hey, welcome. This is the Village Community Center where everyone comes to make friends and be social. Feel free to join us anytime you'd like. No, oh, it's the red-haired outsider. I don't care if you want to walk around town, but don't try anything funny. That was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, forget it, I'm uh, an interest in it. Just know this, until we've actually fought, you haven't beaten me. I would murder the shit out of your balls. Hmm. I'm never going to accept a man in Komodo who doesn't hunt. And there's a, there's a quest thing there. Which we'll check out when we're in the present. There's no sense of checking it out now. There's literally no point to it. Alright, well, I'm going to stop here. We're going we're gonna, to... Can I save here? I probably could. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay, yeah. So we're, we're going to stop here. I'll see you guys real soon with more East Memories of Salsetta.